Hello folks, welcome back to Outdoors with Mike. Another cooking show for you. How to make moose stir fry is done. Hope this will be educational. It's soft, the kids will enjoy it. It's delicious. How to make moose stir fry, part two. Uh, we're gonna need our moose meat here. We got a bit of moose meat left. And we're gonna need our carrots, celery, and you can also use onions, but we'll cook this on the side because uh, kids don't like onions. Uh, um, some do, some don't. You can, uh, can if you like onions, put it, you can put it in your moose stir fry. And we're gonna need potatoes and peppers. You can get variety peppers. So we we here's our peppers. Yeah. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this education video on how to make moose stir fry, part two. Let's get cooking. Okay, folks, we got our uh, potatoes cut up. And uh, that small and uh, our carrots and our um, peppers and our celery. And we'll put our uh, onion sticks in the uh, last. We'll start with the potatoes first and the carrots. And I'll show you how we uh, dice up your vegetables. So we done our uh, potatoes like this. We just peeled it. You can get a peeler also. I like doing it like this, the traditional way. Yeah, right here. Over talking to you, telling you yeah, we'll go this here and we're getting our oil warmed up. And we'll start with our, the vegetables that are take longer to cook. So that's the potatoes. We'll wash this and we'll get this one. We'll use this little saw knife. This one's good so the carrots don't jump or a bread knife, kind of. Yeah, that's how we, we we got that. Okay, folks, our oil's warmed up. We're gonna put our, we washed our potatoes. Potatoes going in. And then we'll, yeah, potatoes going in, folks, and our carrots washed up. They're hard, so we'll start with and those first. You can have it off or inside or up to you. Alright. First step on our how to make moose stir fry. Part two. Alright folks. Well while the potatoes cooking we'll get the meat cut up in bite pieces. Look real close at the texture. Nice. Yeah we'll get it cut up small like this about here little strips yeah like that then we'll get it we'll cut it like this then we'll cut little fry meats like small like this Yeah, no bite pieces. Yeah, we'll get all that cut up like that. Tender meat, whoa, very tender moose. Yeah, bite pieces, thin like that. This one here, look at that texture. Yeah, another one. We'll get our moose meat cut up, folks. All right, I'll continue with this. I'll get it cut up. Okay, folks, I've been dicing for a bit. Uh, coming along, the, we got bite pieces. Always cut your moose meat. If you got little kids, cut your meat smaller and little bite pieces. Um, you, there's like sinew in these. Your kids can choke on it. So you gotta get your sinew out. See right here, I got one out. See, I can't cut that sinew. 
it's hard. It's your, your kids can choke on that. So you go down this way. And then you take out your sinew here. And you if you have little kids you cut it in little bite pieces, small. Yeah, I always get watch um cut your meat, meat in small pieces. Reminder. Just a reminder. I advise you to do that. Yeah. Uh, let it be educational. Just trying to be myself and create content that people would like to see. All right, we'll continue with uh, cutting the moose too and the vegetables. Thank you. Okay, folks, it's coming along. We'll turn it. Our potatoes and carrots. You can uh, taste it. Your um, if it's a, a little bit soft, it's good, which it is. So we'll add our moose meat. Oh, look at that, folks, going in tender, just like a yearling moose. Yearling moose is good for kids. All right, we'll continue. Oh, it's getting a lot in there. We'll see if we we'll have room. Yeah, we'll continue on. Let the meat cook now. Okay, continuing on, folks. Uh, our moose meat went in, and now we're working on our peppers. For this, we cut it like this, around like this. We got the stem out, and then we went down like this, like that. Yep, continue on down. Yep. Then we went like this, folks. I'll show you one right here. We went down like this, just like shish kebabs. Yep. I'll show you one, one more, like that, and like that. And we'll get a bannock cooked for you too. Also, Avril's gonna cook one. Yep. And we'll get our celery. We worked on our celery like this. Taya did her celery. Went like that. All right, she done it a little smaller. Right there. All right, look at it. That's how we got it ready, ready to go. We'll put our green stems, we'll chop up this. We'll sprinkle it on top when it's just about done. Nice, bannock. Avril's gonna make us some bannock. Thank you, Avril. We'll have Bannock Avril with... is making Avril Bannock. Yeah, Avril Bannock, Avril style. The moose stew is coming along. Fry. Moose stir fry. Sorry, folks. <laughs> yeah. Trying to work with one hand also. Yeah. Coming along. We'll show you the finished product. Nice. All right, folks. Continuing on. We're going to work with our tomatoes. Um... Uh, we got two left from our uh, our um, tacos. Avril said we can use it up. It'll be very delicious with the meal. So that's what we'll do. Don't let food waste. Again, we're gonna cut it up in small bite pieces. Best we can. Yeah, we'll cut it up in like that. We'll put it in. Our tomatoes are diced up. We'll put it in again with the last one. Our uh, onion sticks. We'll get that one cut up for you. Serrated knife. For the green onion. Mmm. Look, see right there. This will go. You also could use whole tomatoes if you like. Just to say, uh, delicious. Oh, look at that. Nice juices. We'll put that in last. Nice. Okay. We'll continue on. Okay, folks, um, peppers are going in. Wow, look at that. Yeah, we'll get that in and we'll get our celery in. I think we're gonna have enough room, I'm positive. 
Then we'll uh, we'll mix it together. Oh, looking cooking for seven people, Michael and all the girls. Nice. Look, we're gonna put the lid, our steam lid on. Let it steam, melt in your mouth, folks. Cool. Okay, we'll get back to our tomatoes. Okay, folks, it's coming along, just about done. We'll put our tomatoes in. Look at that. Again, melt in your mouth. Yeah, we we got a, our our steel uh, churner because this one is getting too much. It's plastic. It's not working well. So this might be good for you when you cook yours. Yeah, we'll stir it up. Getting some water on the bottom. That's okay. That's from the lid. It helps it cook. Oh, the kids cooking for seven. Yeah, we got our tomatoes in. We'll let that cook for a few minutes and it'll be done. And the bannock is coming along. Look, folks. We got it from the top. We're, we cooked the bottom and we're grilling the top. All right. We'll have it with some bannock. So our meal is done. Our bannock is done. And our how to make moose stir fry is done. Hope this will be educational. It's soft, the kids will enjoy it. It's delicious. Got lots of colors. All right, we'll get it plated up and we'll get our bannock set up on our plates and we'll try it out. Cooking for seven. All right, folks, our plating is done. Cooking for seven. Look at the plates. Look at the texture real close. Looks good. We got our tea. We got our bannock. Here's our, our uh, how to make moose stir fry 2022. Look, I put butter on there and melted. Looks so delicious. I got some tea here. I and I you could also buy this if you don't want to make a big pot, you could use these and you could use you put it in the microwave for two minutes and you put one of these in there. Yeah, tea. All right, we'll try it out. Look at this, folks. Let's try a bite. Mmm. I can taste that dough, oh, it's salty. Put some salt on it and nice. The peppers. Mmm. Moose stir fry. It's very delicious. Try some bannock. Mmm. Super fluffy bannock. Mmm. Wash it down with some tea. Yep. Yeah. Alright folks. Hope this video was educational. How to make moose stir fry 2022. Just trying to be myself and create content that people like to see. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, it helps the channel grow. All right, hope everyone's safe and sound and having a good day. Very hot here in Northern Alberta. Bye for now, see you in the next one.